is up my ASMR and fragrance family. It's your boy, your whispering, whispering, whispering perfume pimp, Christopher Cologne. And I'm back with another football picks video. So what I have in this video is week two, week two.
which I had a long sleeve shirt on. I had another shirt other than this. Um, because it's starting to cool down at night here. But, yeah, I had a long sleeve shirt on. And if you listen, you know I don't spray on my skin too much. So, but on my clothing, yeah. Well, it lasted over seven hours. But, as far as a strong, a good strong smell, yeah, about six, seven hours. So, and I can't really tell you how much it projects because... I mean, I could smell it, but as far as projecting away from me, I can't really tell you. Now, my girlfriend, she works with me. She came up to me about, I'd say, three, maybe four hours after I put it on. And she said it was really strong, so it must have been projecting good three, four hours in. But that's the bottle right there. Jimmy Choo Urban Hero Gold Edition and the bottle the bottle's actually why I bought it I like the bottle so much I was like man I bet you that smells pretty good so yeah you know the bottle sells the fragrance sometimes Jimmy Choo Urban Hero Gold Edition. Okay. Okay. So this is a twenty 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 one release. Um the the nose person that created it is um Juliet Karagusoglu that's a hell of a name K-A-R-A-G-U-E C-U I mean oh damn K-A-R-A-G-U-E U-Z-O-G-L-O that's her last name so but the main accords, and this is on Fragranica, so the main accords are sweet, fruity, citrus, vanilla, aromatic, lavender, amber, tropical, fresh spicy, and warm spicy. Not even though it's got a tropical in it. I mean, yeah, you could wear this in the summertime, but to me, this fits more fall, winter, maybe spring. And... I got a couple others up there that smell kind of like it, like a couple of the Michel, uh, Michel Germain fragrances. Um, no, not Michel Germain, the Jean Marc Paris, Jean Marc Paris fragrances. The uh, my um, like tattoo and stuff like that. So, but the top notes are pineapple and blood orange. The middle notes are tonka bean and lavender, and the base notes are sandalwood and oak moss. So, something I forgot, man. Or y'all, you know, it's not just men that watches, but y'all go ahead and get a spray. I didn't take much.
much time to think about it because, you know, I was going to work and everything, but I can smell, I can smell the pineapple and the vanilla. Now, the, the orange and, or not the vanilla, but the tonka bean, but if I'm not mistaken, tonka bean gives like a vanilla smell, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, but, yeah. But yeah, y'all. So, that's Jimmy Choo Urban Hero Gold Edition. It's a pretty good one. And it goes for, let me back out of this. You can get this on, you can get this on Fragrance Net for $40.79. So, $40.79. Um, well, hold on, no, wait. Okay, yeah. You can get a 3.3 .3 ounce regular, like what I got, box and all, for forty seventy nine, And then you get a 3.3 .3 ounce tester for thirty four seventy nine, And this is on Fragrance Knit. And then you get a 1.7 ounce for thirty five thirty nine. So... It'd be better just to get the 3.3 ounce tester for $34.79 than the 1.7 ounce for $35.39. But that's just me. So, because I don't necessarily care about the box or the cap, you know. But, yeah, y'all. So, that was Jimmy Choo Urban Hero Gold Edition. Damn, I've done drag just that out to 12 minutes. But... If y'all like the videos, then I guess that don't really matter now, does it? But, okay, so, let's get into these picks. So, okay. Okay, week two, we got the Chargers at the Chiefs. Now I'm going with the Chiefs on that. So let's go ahead and circle that. And then we got the Pats at the Steelers. Now I'm going to go with the Steelers on that. And the Steelers surprised me last week. But yeah, so let's go ahead and circle the Steelers. Now watch the Pats get their shit together and beat them. Which is the Pats are the Patriots. And then we got the Bengals at the Cowboys. Now the Bengals lost last week, and the Cowboys lost last week, and then they lost their quarterback for at least like three or four weeks, possibly longer. But I'm gonna go with the Bengals on that one. And then we got the Panthers at the Giants, and the Giants lost last week, and the Panthers at the Giants, that's just, that's one of those go either way games. Um, I'm gonna go with. I'm just gonna go with the Panthers. Screw it. That game really don't matter to me. And then we got the Jets at the Browns, and I'm gonna go with the Browns. And you know the Browns are who are who beat the. Uh, or who beat the Panthers last week. So then we got the Colts and the Jags. The Colts and the Jaguars. Colts and the Jaguars. I got something in my throat or something. smoking. I really need to quit. But okay, where were we at? Colts and Jaguars. So, the Colts beat the Texans last week. And the Jaguars lost to the Commanders, so I'm going to go with the Colts on that one. And then we got the Dolphins at the Ravens. Uh, I'm going with the Dolphins. Dolphins might actually, they 
might do good this year. And then we got the Bucks at the Saints. And since that's my boy Brady, I'm going with the Bucks. And I know Brady has struggled bad against the Saints. But, you know, this is... I'm pretty sure this is last year. And I don't think Brady wants to go out like that against them. So, I know it's a whole team effort, but still. I think the Bucks are going to win. And matter of fact, the Bucks are my NFC Super Bowl pick. So... And then we got the um, then we got the Commanders at the Lions. So I'm gonna go with the Washington Commanders on that. And then we got the Seahawks at the 49ers. Now that's interesting because I actually thought the 49ers were gonna beat the Bears, and I thought the Seahawks were gonna lose to the Broncos and you know the 49ers and Seahawks they always have good games well usually but uh and they're their division they're uh division rivals so I'm gonna go I'm actually gonna go with the 49ers I kinda wanted to I kinda wanna say Seahawks but I'm going with the 49ers then we got the Falcons at the Rams. And even though the Rams lost to the Bills, I'm going to go with the Rams. So, and then we got the Cardinals at the Raiders. Um, I'm going to go with the Cardinals because I just, I really think they should should win that. I know the Raiders can do can do a pretty decent job, but I just I don't know. I figured the Cardinals will get their shit together. Because if I'm not mistaken, then the Cardinals come out and do really good at the beginning, at like the first half of last year. I could be thinking of the year before, but um, so after that, we got the Texans at the Broncos. And I'm gonna go with the Broncos. And I haven't seen but I keep hearing that the Broncos did something so utterly stupid and they tried for like a 65 yard field goal on like a first or second down or something like that. I don't know if that's exactly what happened so don't hold me to it. I just keep hearing different things and I haven't actually looked into it yet because I just I haven't had time. I mean maybe when I'm laying there trying to go to sleep I should just sit up for a minute and watch this stuff. <laughs> but then we got the Bears at the Packers and that's a that's a rivalry but I think the Bears will win that so I'm going with the Bears at the Packers and then we got the Titans at the Bills I'm going with the Bills so and the Bills are actually my AFC Super Bowl pick this year so I think it's going to be the Bucks and the Bills in the Super Bowl this year, and I think the Bucks will take it. At least I hope so. And then we got the Vikings at the Eagles, and I'm gonna go with the Vikings. So, Vikings over the Eagles. Okay, y'all, so those are my week two picks. So those are my NFL week two picks, and my Super Bowl pick, the Bucks and the bills so but yeah y'all i'm gonna try one of the reasons why i haven't really done a video this week is because well time is one thing and then my girlfriend she's been over here a good bit and um because we're both on the same shift this week she works rotate and i work straight third so um but, yeah, she's been over here a good bit this week, and she can't stand whispering. <laughs> it drives her nuts. So, I haven't been able to do a video, and because of where I'm remodeling, I got the other end of the house tore apart. So, I'm hoping I'm going to 
be able to get that more squared away this weekend and next weekend. So maybe I'll be able to take the mic in there and start doing stuff when she's over here. That way I don't drive her crazy. But, uh, yeah, y'all. So, yeah, that's why I haven't really gotten to make another video. I've been wanting to do some, I've been wanting to do a Kiari video, raise some, raise some awareness on Kiari, because September is Kiari Awareness Month. And, um, if you don't know what that is, it's a, it's a condition that you're born with, and there's a few different types, but, like, I have it. So, I have type 1, and my cerebellum actually herniates into my spinal column, 3 to 5 millimeters. Um, I get different symptoms and everything like that, and we'll go into that on the Kiori Malformation Awareness video that I'm going to do. I'm hoping to do a at least two for this month. So, since, like I said, September is Kiori Malform Malformation Awareness Month, um, and then I've been wanting to tell y'all, like, who are my favorite ASMR artists, like my top ten, and I've been wanting to do some other clone videos and stuff, and I even ordered, um, a fragrance from a company called Brodux, I guess that's how you pronounce it, B-R-O-D-U-X, I wanted to order all of them, but I figured, man, right now I'm kind of strapped, so I'll just order um, but it's one that works good from reading the notes. It should work good for the fall and the winter. But yeah, when I get that in, we're going to go over that. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to get off here. And I'm going to listen to a little bit of ASMR. And take my butt to bed. And hopefully, hopefully I'll sleep more than two or three hours today. God, I hope so. So, yeah, y'all, uh, comment, let me know what y'all think about, well, either the cologne, if y'all have ever smelled it or anything, or the picks, what y'all's picks for the week, who's y'all's Super Bowl pick, uh, so, um, yeah, so, as always, y'all, y'all take it easy, have a good one, and peace, 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 peace.